Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, a Telltale game. And yes, that name is absolutely ridiculous, but is this going to be another Telltale masterpiece that is just an absolute breathtaking game? Or is the same shtick over and over again starting to wear thin and we can really see the cracks in the veneer? For the cocktail today, we are going to be crafting something as playful, colorful, and a little crazy, just like the Guardians of the Galaxy. All those questions will be answered, and that drink will be constructed right after this intro. With Guardians of the Galaxy, I do think it is important when discussing the Telltale game anyways that you kind of start at the beginning, and for me, the beginning was uh, the Walking Dead series of Telltale games. I absolutely fell in love, and it was just such a spectacular game, and it felt like the choices you were making had weight, especially when it started to cross multiple games in the series. Compound that with being a comic book fan, especially nerdy sci-fi stuff, and it was right up my alley. So I got excited to play it. I generally try to stay away from trailers and previews of the games because I just can't trust it anymore, to be honest with you. So April 18th, 2017, I finally got my hands on episode one, and I enjoyed what I had. It wasn't anything groundbreaking. It wasn't going to be the most amazing game I played that year, but it was good. Then the next episode came out, and it was pretty good too. The episode after that, and then something happened, and I actually stopped playing, and then recently for this review, picked it up again and played the whole way through. And I think it clicked when I played the whole way through this time that just none of your decisions really felt like they had weight. Especially when you kind of discover and look behind the curtain and to see that maybe one thing that your character stopped from happening wouldn't have mattered if it happened anyways, and it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails, I find, with especially these type of games. That said though, the gameplay is Telltale's Telltale. Like, nothing new, but nothing done horribly wrong. You take control of all of the Guardians, but mostly Star-Lord, as he interacts with other characters, explores the environments, and interacts with objects within that, and then the action sequence with the quick time events come, and for me, that's some of the best, most kind of thrilling, kick your feet up, relax, enjoy a nice cocktail, and watch moment. I say watch, but you will have to flick the left or right stick or hit a single button at times, which generally didn't stop me from having a sip of a drink. Speaking of drinks, let's get started with these ingredients. So, for today, we're starting with two ounces of vodka. Vodka is going to be our base, nice and simple. Then we're going to follow it up with an ounce and a half of blue curacao. That's going to provide us that beautiful blue color we're looking for. And a little hint of fruit. And then just to give it a little bit of depth and a little chocolatey taste, we are going to be using creme de cacao for that. Of course, it will not affect the blue color either, make it a little lighter, but nothing too crazy. Now we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice to uh, give it a little bit of depth and a little bit of uh, dilution, as well as soda to top to make it just a perfect cocktail to sip. With all those ingredients together, we're ready to craft this cocktail. But first, let's talk about the story. The story of this game really revolves around the relationships that all of the characters have which adds a bit of depth but also again because once you start to pull the curtain back a lot of that depth is vanished very quickly uh, overall you will be kind of weighing pros and cons between having guardians like you or not that's kind of like the main catch of this story so if that's something you're into seeing how the guardians interact and 
do or don't like each other, this is going to be right up your alley. But if you're looking for something a little bit more based on a storyline or a big event, then you're probably not going to be very excited about this game. In the game's defense, it does keep the plot moving quickly. The game starts with you responding to a distress call from the Nova Corps to then battling with Thanos and then things just go completely off the rail from there. Not to get into too much of spoilers, the game is really light on those moments of complete dullness as well, which I find can plague the style of kind of movie games, if you will, because there'll always be this great epic set piece and then it slows right down when you investigate a small room for one obscure object that you can't see unless you kind of do a sequence of events and that doesn't really take place here everything is kind of straightforward there are some puzzles but nothing very difficult like quite frankly most kids will be able to easily solve these puzzles without too much of a hassle well since we're talking about not too much of a hassle let's start talking about how we grab this beautiful cocktail that isn't too much of a hassle either Alright, so to kick this cocktail off properly, you're going to need to start with your Boston shaker and you're going to get two ounces of vodka. I've already pre-filled the Boston shaker with ice just to save some time in the video to be quite honest with you. Once you have your two ounces in, you're going to follow that with an ounce and a half of blue curacao. That's going to give us that beautiful color we're looking for, that bright blue to give it kind of a spacey sci-fi look. And then after that, we are going to follow that up with one ounce of creme de cacao. That is going to give us a hint of chocolate at the end. That is just going to be absolutely delicious. I think it really helps the cocktail out to give it a little bit of depth of flavor instead of just all fruit. You gotta like that chocolate vibe. Now we're gonna add one ounce of lemon juice. Just to balance it out, now you're going to shake all of those ingredients together and you see that kind of luminescent blue that is just a beautiful color, I think. Just a great color for a cocktail. Again, once you get that nice frost built up around your Boston shaker, you're going to take it apart. A quick slap on the side will do you wonders, I guarantee it. Now, I've, uh, I'm trying out some video editing tricks here and tell me if you like how I filled this glass up or you think it's silly. Then fill up the glass with the Boston Shaker ingredients, which is going to be the main component of our cocktail. And then we're just going to follow it up with a classic can of soda and just drop it in right there like that. Absolutely delicious. Simple, easy to make, nothing too fancy, just a beautiful blue cocktail to enjoy. In closing, your liking of the game or your mileage of the game is really going to boil down to do you like Telltale style games or do you like Guardians of the Galaxy? You're not going to get anything else from the Marvel IPs. There's no surprise Iron Man or no surprise Thor, nothing like that. But what you get here is a passable game. It's a great game to introduce, I think, younger kids into the concept of playing video games. Everything's kind of bright and direct, the letters are bold and colorful, and really it does fit the Guardians of the Galaxy thematically. It's just okay, that's really the only problem, there's no depth, and since the company has gone under, we know we're not getting another Marvel Telltale game. So with all that said, do you enjoy Marvel? Do you enjoy Telltale style games? I'd try it. I mean, I wouldn't buy it without a massive sale on it, but each their own. As for this easy to make cocktail, well, I don't really have a name for it, so please, if you do have a name, leave it down in the bottom of the comments below, and maybe 
the one that gets the highest upvotes is the one that becomes the name of this cocktail. Who knows? Well, thank you so much as always for watching, and I hope you're having a fantastic day, and if you do end up enjoying this cocktail, let me know what you think about it, and maybe if I did something wrong, if I needed to change something. Thank you so much, and like, comment, subscribe, and as always, hope to see you around real soon.